Having Cup semi final at Twickenham, Claremont, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, one of those things, one of the games you want to play for when, uh, when you're younger. Obviously, dreaming of playing in the semi finals and finals, and to get an opportunity on Saturday would be a massive thing, and we're looking forward to it. Think you can go one better than last year? That's the hope, I think. Uh, we've been we've had a good week training so far. Uh, yesterday, we were just going through some uh, stuff for the weekend, and today, we had a bit of a blowout. So, I think the boys are rearing and ready to go, really. It seems like you've guaranteed top spot in the, the Premiership as well. So, obviously, semi finals to come home, semi final in that. But it'd be amazing if you get to the final of the Heineken first. Yeah, definitely. That's the aim. Uh, looking at the next game, obviously, is the most important. and doesn't get any bigger this weekend. Clermont, uh, obviously, uh, very strong side. Uh, history, uh, history repeats that they're always in the semis and finals, really. So uh, we know it's going to be a tough challenge and one we're ready for, really. Claremont, of course, uh, wounded animals, I guess, after last year. They thought they had it won and they, they clearly didn't. Do you think that will have a part to play? I think so. I think you just see this year they come back stronger and uh, they still got a lot of the squad from last year. So they're even more hungry for it this year. Um, and uh, they've been on fire, really, in top 14 and Hang Cup. So we know we've got a tough challenge ahead of us. In terms of the Twickenham factor, obviously, the fact that Saracens have played there before, quite a few of your England internationals, you're really used to the stadium. Do you think that will have a, an impact? I think so. I think uh, hopefully we can feed off the energy from the crowd this weekend. Um, it's always special to play at Twickenham, whether it's club or country, and uh, one uh, the team's going to be ready for it this weekend. Really. And in terms of the battle up front, you've got to win that first, haven't you? That's the key. I think you just uh, every rugby game is one up front, even though the back's the one I admit it. But... No, it's, uh, Clermont's got a massive pack, but not only that, they've got a very, uh, very good pack, very skillful pack, and we're going to have to uh, stand up and uh, smash them out the front. Um, Sorry, mate. No worries. Um, and in terms of kicking, just been seeing you do some kicking. Is it right that you're fourth in line if it goes to a kickoff? Uh, yeah, it's not really been confirmed by the coaches, but uh, I've put my name in the hat really for if it goes to a kickoff this weekend. But I don't think we'll get there. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, get there before the end of full time. Trying to work out who'd be ahead of you. Obviously, you got Owen, uh, Goody, I guess. Who, yeah. who else would be on that list? Uh, Marcello Bosch, obviously, and then uh, I think I rule myself in there ahead of any of the rest of the backs. <laughs> so when did a prop last kick a penalty goal? <laughs> I don't think anyone's asked really, have they? <laughs> Maybe back in the 80s, but I don't know. First, put your name into Saracen's folklore once again. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll put my hand up for it, but I don't know if the coach will go for it. <laughs>